Hey guys, today I'll be showing you the basics of programming uh, programs on your TI-83 or 84. The f there are a couple things you need to know right off the back. There, uh, you're going to need to know data types. The, there are a bunch of data types, but there's only three that you really need to know. Numerals, which are just numbers, le uh, decimals, decimal numbers, or negative numbers. The next one is called string. They are just uh, words, letters, enclosed in quotes. And the last one are are called Boolean. Booleans. They're either true or false. If it's true, it will equal to the numeral 1. If it's false, it will equal to the numeral 0. So let me show you an example of data type. Of I mean, of a Boolean. 1 equals one. This is a Boolean expression and since this expression is true, it will be equal to one. Uh, let me show you a false um, expression. One is greater than two. This is false, then it will equal to the numeral zero. Another thing you need to know are that each letter contains a numeral. At default, each letter is zero but you can store different numbers like 5 into A and then next time you click on A that's what uh, A equals uh, to execute or create programs you click on this button right here you can execute right uh, pre by pressing enter you can edit it or you can create a new program uh, let's edit it Right now, I I don't have much. I don't have anything, but I'm going to show you the basics, the basic commands that you should know to go into the list of commands or controls. Y you click on the program, the if control. Let me show you how the if control works. First, you have an if, uh, the word if, then you have a boolean expression, and if the boolean expression is true the next line is executed. If the boolean expression is false, the next line is skipped, and then the line after that is executed, if there's a line after that. Uh, something else you need to know is a while. It's a while loop. It's a type of loop. Um, you either need to know the while loop or the for loop, but the while loop is, I, I, I would say, easier to uh, learn. The way this works is there's a while, then a boolean expression, then a command, and then we have to enclose the while loop with end. While th this expression is true, then the, this command in the middle is executed. If this uh, expression is false, the program ex exits the loop and then continues on with the code underneath. Mm, let me see what else you need to know. You're going to need to know pause, which will pause your program until the user u presses enter, then it'll continue. Label and go to go together. Uh, you can put label 0 or you can put label 3 3 and then later in the program you can put uh, go to 3 3 so you you can go to this point then go to 3 3 then it'll go all the way back to label 33 so it's just like a shortcut to a, a different spot in your code let me see what else stop will end your program and that's it for stop uh, delete variable will delete the variable either uh, any data type it will delete any data type like it will delete the variable a and change it back to zero or it can delete a list or any of that um, the input by itself will graph whatever you have on your graph or you can um, ask the user for their input Let's say you want to ask them what number they want, like a num. Uh, and 
the user will uh, pr continue by um, typing in a number but we want to store the number into a variable which let's say n so let's execute this program it asks us for a number and let's say 5 and the program is finished and we go to n and n does equal 5 mm, let me see what else you need to know uh, dispense will dispense uh, a, a numeral or a string on the next line and output will is even cooler. It will dispense uh, a numeral or a letter or uh, a string on anywhere you want, anywhere on your ca uh, home. And clear home clears the home. That's basic. That's intuitive. So let me show an example of dispense. Dispense six. And let me see. Dispense five, and let me or this or whatever dispense u, and uh, let me do an output. Output. Let's put it in the fourth row, fifth column, and let's put high. And let's see what happens when we execute this. Oh, see, it it um, dispenses the U right here, and the six right here, and the high in the one, two, three, fourth column, one, two, three, four, five, or the fourth row, the fifth column. And that's it for this tutorial. Uh, more later.